Okay, I am still not done, but I have made progress. I've moved my dresser, not dresser, <laughs> desk in here. So my goal with that is to be able to pack and ship and do everything in here. So I have to go back and forth so many times, which is what usually happens. And to give my son a little more room in his room. <laughs> Still working on that. But I have made progress. Um, I'm going to turn this around. Yeah. So y'all can see the desk. I mean, it just fits in just right. I had to measure for the height and stuff, but this was in the other room. This is where I keep most of my packing things and all that stuff. Now I can just do it all here. And I have to have everywhere. And I got to print my little print station set up. It did fit. I was worried it would be in the way, but it, it'll work. Um, this is quite stuffed with everything. Um, I'm still debating on leaving those big uh, drawers there. Those have my uh, 12 by 12 excess papers in it for scrapbooking and stuff. And I may, I'm going to clean them out and see what else I can do because I do, I can put stuff on top of this. Um, but I have a basket with unfinished quilts tops that I had on top of this shelf, which I cannot do now because, um, there's a shelf above it. <laughs> it's a jigsaw puzzle, y'all. Um, I cleaned off these upper shelves some more too. It wouldn't be so I just been getting rid of stuff. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff in here. And I filled instead of a bunch of different buttons. I put all my buttons in one of these big ones because I got rid of all those tiny fabric scraps I've been keeping forever because I was gonna do projects with them. I hadn't done. I'm just having to let go of some stuff. And back there is my excess embroidery floss. I did wind up all of the DMC floss I have and it filled up that container so I gotta get some more Y'all I have a pile of fabric to show y'all too that I've gotten in from Fabric Mart Does it look like I need any more fabric? It does not but I'm hoping to get some Some clothes made while I'm off. It is Wednesday of week one. So we'll see how it goes um, Yeah, I still got a mess going on in here, but it's getting there. It's getting there so I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be the last part for today. Um, I just realized that since I have that desk over there, since I moved things around, um, I don't have as cool of a backdrop, I guess. My desk is not as interesting to look at. So I'm gonna have to rearrange some things and figure out where I could do uh, vlogging from. I mean, this is okay, but this is like all the corner of my desk and the corner of the room. It's not ideal. So, I wanted to show y'all a couple of things and some fabric. Oh, my hair looks weird because it's going like that. My son said, it looked like a bald spot. Trust me. Ain't no bald spot in all this hair. <laughs> Just the way my bangs are because I got it pulled back. I need to take a bath. Wash my hair, but um, early enough so it can dry before I go to bed. No. I did that the other night and it was way too late to be doing that and I wound up blow drying and the rest of the way dry when I got the next morning it was just like <clears throat> I had to wet it again that's why I don't like washing my hair at night but I've got a few things I wanted to show y'all um some fabric that came in and, and some other things but my dad gave me this shirt <laughs> I rescue orf orphaned fabric. <laughs> Said he was trying to find one with a dog on it, but they, most of those kind of shirts have cats on them. 
There's thread on it already, y'all. Ain't even worried. This has been sitting over here waiting for me to show y'all. I still got stuff to do in here. I'll do a final tour when I get completed, which I hope to get done this evening. So we'll see how that goes. But this, I'm probably not even going to be able to show all of this. But I finished a quilt top. These are some squares. I'll try to remember to put the blog post down below where I did a I did a blog post about doing these. These are mini charm packs. I just made squares out of them. <clears throat> it's three blocks wide. <clears throat> Y'all gotta grab my water right quick. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Dust stirred up in here. And it's five blocks long. And I use these strips. So in between, I already had them cut out from something else. But that was one of my boxes. Well, I had two things in that box. So that's one out of that box. So that I got complete the other day. I was excited about that. <laughs> it's just a quilt top, which for people who don't know, a quilt top that hasn't been quilted yet is called a flimsy. I have a lot of flimsies. Um... And my goal is to get a bunch of them done. And then I'll work on quilting some. But. <clears throat> hold on just a second. I had to cough. I didn't want to do it on camera. But anyway. This is a pile of. Mostly apparel fabrics I got from Fabric Mart. They had some kind of deal going on with them. I don't need any more apparel fabric. I don't need any more fabric. But. I've been pretty good lately. I haven't bought a whole lot of stuff like that except if I needed it for the shop but I just I got some fabric okay and some of it is technically for the shop like this this is for the shop at Fabric Mart I like when they have sales on this is 100% cotton it's a, a sateen shirting, shirting so it's real soft and it's just real nice for bags sometimes it's so soft it's got this green cheetah print on it I like it um, and this next one is a knit this is a rayon spandex it's kind of sheerish but look at that isn't that the cutest it's hearts they got little shiny coppery bits on them kind of makes it look like a leopard to print heart but it's I just thought that it's very it's, it's, it's pretty thin but it would make a nice t-shirt I don't know I've got some they need to make some different kinds of t-shirts. I got this one pattern blank slate tee that I make t-shirts out of all the time because I just love. I need to make some slightly different. I've got other patterns. I just It's just super easy to make. So this one is a polyester lycra. It is green and it's got some gold cheetah print on it. I just it is the panel print. I have also realized I have I think I got another one over here too. Several fabrics with a snake skin print and it's like why do I keep buying this? It was like the orange I had to stop myself back to that um coral colored fabric I had I realized what I keep buying it so I had to stop. So I got I got some different colors this time too so this is a Rayon Pontel, Pointel, Pontel jersey. Ooh, this is like a chartreuse almost. It's a, it looks more, it says mustard green, which is an interesting choice since it's kind of chartreuse, which is this weird green yellow that's really bright. So it's not quite as bright, but I bought two yards of this because I was thinking. And make me a lightweight little wrap with it. Where I work at, I have to wear. I could wear a heavy duty jacket in there and be okay. It's freezing in there. I don't know how they keep it so cold in there, but I have to wear something. So that'll be lighter. I don't know that it'll be great, but that was a little thinner than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but this right here is, it's a polyester rayon spandex, but it's a terry 
um, a French terry, which this is the inside, so it kind of has that that in it. That little nubby on the inside. It's a little thicker, but look at it. Isn't it cute? It's got lightning bolts on it. <laughs> That's not good. They had a lot of fun for it. I think these were like $5 a yard or something like that. They were, yeah, $4.99 a yard with it what these were but super cheap and one of these shipments i think i got five dollars shipping on two or something this this is just an unfolded all kinds of things slinky fabrics they do that anyway this is a it's got a bird i think that's the wrong side of it though it's a little bit yeah it's a little brighter than that yeah and this is a this is 100% polyester, and normally I try to stay away, even though they feel nice and slinky. Polyester, if you don't know, I tell my mama this all the time because she talks about shirts she thinks going to be cool with her hot. Polyester don't breathe. <laughs> it's, it's plastic, okay? It's like polyester yarn um, or acrylic yarn. Um, it don't breathe. So, no matter how sheer and lightweight this is, it's going to hold your sweat. It don't absorb it, right? It don't, like, wick it away the sweat which is what makes you cooler so a rayon is much nicer but I just love this print so and I want me a top out of it so I got it um you'll notice a lot of the some of the prints I got some of the knits I got were a rayon blend which is gonna be nice and cool and comfortable um you know it, you can still get by with the polyester polyester is not the best you're trying to say cool, which I, I am. So anyway, back to my stuff. This is not a, this is not a safer side anything, but it's space side, and it's rayon and linen jersey knit. So this is a really nice knit fabric. It's to make a really nice shirt. Um, this right here, I got this for bags as well. Um, this is 100% silk satin weave, but I thought it would be good for bags. It was, this was $7.50 a yard, but it was just pretty. And I thought that was, is that like I use for bag linings or something like that? And then I got this other Pontel knit, same thing. Sometimes I like to make short sleeve wraps little tops um I, I probably wouldn't wear it to work simply because i need something long sleeve there because it's so cold i would wear it over a sleeveless top if i'm going out or something like that uh because i don't like wearing sleeveless stuff when i'm going out i i do around the yard sometimes but just i prefer to have something over it so that's what something like this, this was only 2.99 it's a cotton lycra Pontel knit, you can see. Pointel, it's Pointel, Pointel. Let me try to use some of my French that I learned in a million years ago. That's the little pattern on it. So this is a nice and lightweight. It'll be, it'll be wonderful for that. Um, what else? I got? God, I see, I got a bunch of stuff. Who bought all this stuff? <laughs> this is a just a. A rayon lycra tie-dye. I can make me an exercise top with that. And I got this. Uh, this is the actual front of it. But this is, it is polyester, but it's active wear knit. So, <clears throat> I plan on making me some, oh, uh, leggings or like uh, capri leggings out of it and i got this to match it's also an active wear knit um just purple six dollars a yard active wear knits are, are a little more structured than regular knits or different knits and y'all here is another cheetah print <laughs> it's in blue though like shades of blue really like it um blueberry 
and this is a polyester lycra so you could really tell the difference in it a polyester lycra has a smooth denser feel than a rayon lycra it's a rayon lycra is more drapey and it just flows better and then i got this one is a cotton well it's a polyester cotton rayon uh burnout stars fabric this is really cool it's got little like it's sheer where the stars are then i got this one which is it's, it's polyester but it's a double knit and i'm gonna make some leggings out of this but these will probably be for winter because they're thicker Double knit is a thicker, it's got more of a texture to it. I love my leggings. My active wear. I'm wearing a, this active wear top because I've been moving stuff around, so it's I've been active. <laughs> Alright. We're almost through this. This is another rayon. Um this is yet this is hold on. A brushed sweater knit very soft but it's very lightweight still even though it's a sweater knit and I have I think that's a it's slightly different though I got there's some things I need to quit buying and then I got these last two these are Four-way stretch jersey knits. Um, these are also like active wear. I got this purple and that. And look, I already didn't think about that one. I got this other one. This one's a little different though. This is a darker brown, <laughs> but it's active wear knit, which means it has it's thicker and more structured than these. These are. Um, they're full waist stretch, but they're nylon, so they're a little lighter weight. So, those are my fab. That's my fabric, because the rest of it came in today. So I decided I'd show y'all and show y'all some things I had finished. I've been working on some other stuff, but I'll show it another day since this is supposed to be a vlog, and I got to almost 15 minutes. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>